watching Yi and Joseph Zeng's drama The Lotus Casebook wrapped filming. Lu or Yung Shi and Bai Lu's drama Till the End of the Moon. Neo Ho and Zhou Yi's drama Back from the Brink. Li Yi Tong and Bi Wen Jun's drama Warm on a Cold Night. And Dil Raba and Tong Da Wei's drama Prosecution Elite are slated to premiere. But first, let me talk about Sword Comes. Arthur Chen and Shen Yue are rumoured to star in the upcoming costume fantasy romance drama Sword Comes, also known as The Sword. The drama is based on a popular web novel of the same name and if you want to read the novel, click on the link in the description down below. The drama screenplay will be written by one of the scriptwriters of this year's hit drama Sword Snow Stride, and it looks like the production team has decided on Arthur Chen as the male lead. But I can't say the same for Shen Yue as the female. Anyway, Sword Comes is set in a world of gods and demons and tells the story of Chen Ping An. Played by Arthur Chen, a boy who lost his parents in a battle between the righteous sect and the demon clan. He later sets out on a journey to rid the world of evil and along his way he meets good teachers, makes friends and also finds love. Shen Yue plays Ning Yao, the daughter of the two swordsmen of the Great Wall of Sword Key. Ning Yao and Chen Ping'an fought against the enemy together and of course they fall in love. I'm quite satisfied with Arthur Chen as the male lead because this drama is similar to his 2018 drama Ever Night, which I personally think is one of the best Chinese fantasy dramas ever made. It's worth mentioning this drama is Shen Yue's first costume drama and I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you think about this pairing in the comments section. Let me also know if you're looking forward to seeing Shen Yue in a costume drama. The Lotus Case Book is an upcoming historical mystery suspense wuxia drama starring Joseph Zeng, Cheng Yi and Xiao Shunyao. The drama's production released new photo stills and a teaser video of the cast on October 24th as they officially wrap filming after almost five months. The Lotus Casebook is adapted from the novel of the same name and if you want to read the novel, click on the link in the description down below. Cheng Yi plays Li Xiang Yi, the sect master of the Sigu Gate. Ten years ago, he shocked the martial arts world, but after a decisive battle with the leader of the Golden Mandarin League, the two masters disappeared from the martial arts world and people thought he died. Li Xiang Yi later changes his name to Li Liang Hua, and people mistook him for a great doctor who can bring the dead back to life. Joseph Seng plays Fang Duo Bing, an aspiring hero who idolizes Li Xiang Yi. He's also a close friend of Li Liang Hua, but has no idea who he really is. Xiao Shun Yao plays Di Feng Sheng, Li Xiang Yi's arch rival who's suspicious of his real identity and vows to expose him. Whenever there's a murder case, people ask Li Xiang Yi for help, and together with his friends Fang Duo Bing and Di Feng Sheng, they solve many mysterious cases in the martial arts world, and the three forge a deep friendship. The drama also stars Cheng Doling who starred in the recently aired drama Love in Flames of War, Rain Wang who played a supporting role in the 2018 drama Legend of Fu Yao, and Estelle Chen who played a supporting role in the recently hit drama Love Like the Galaxy. I haven't read the novel so I don't know if the male leads have a romantic relationship with the female leads, but I hope we get some bromance between the male leads. The Lotus Case Book is slated for 40 episodes and it's produced by Huan Ri Century Pictures and Aichi Yi. We'll not see this drama until sometime next year, 2023, on Aichi Yi. The highly anticipated upcoming costume fantasy romance drama Till the End of the Moon, starring Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu, obtained its online distribution license on October the 21st. Till the End of the Moon is adapted from the novel Black Moonlight, 
holds the BE script, and if you want to read the novel, click on the link in the description down below. Anyway, the drama will be split up into two parts. The first part is slated for 34 episodes and the second is slated for 24 episodes. So that's a total of 58 episodes and is rumoured to premiere sometime this year in November or December on Yuku. Bai Lu plays the daughter of a powerful sect leader who ultimately sacrifices herself to rewrite history and the future in a desperate state of wanting to save the world from the clutches of the demon lord played by Luo Yunxi. So she gets sent 500 years into the past to prevent the demon lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona. Deng Wei and Cheng Duling play supporting roles. This drama's costume and makeup look top notch and I can't wait to see Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu on screen again as this is their second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit drama Love is Sweet and their chemistry was off the roof. I'm also looking forward to Arthur Chen and Luo Yunxi's upcoming BL drama Immortality. Back from the Brink is an upcoming costume fantasy romance drama starring Neo Huo and Zhou Yi and it's open for investors and it's slated to premiere in the fourth quarter of this year on Yuku. Back from the Brink is adapted from the novel of the same name and it tells the story of Tian Yao, played by Neo Ho, an ancient dragon who was betrayed by the woman he loved. She stripped him of his dragon bones and sealed them in four directions, causing him to almost lose his life, but by luck, his soul escapes and he gets reborn. Tian Yao later meets Zhou Yi's character who vows to protect him as she retrieves his missing bones. Warm on a Cold Night is an upcoming historical mystery romance drama starring Li Yi Tong and Bi Wen Jun. And on October 19th, the drama got its distribution license, so we can expect to see it soon. Li Yi Tong plays a constable from the Cold Qian Kingdom, who collaborates with a foreign tribe's young master played by Bi Wen Jun of the Warm Qi tribe. A bizarre murder case brings together the complementary cold and warm duo as they work together to break through the fog of conspiracy and discover the truth behind the case concerning their rival tribes. Warm on a Cold Night is slated for 36 episodes and it will be available on the iQiyi app with English subs when it finally premieres. The upcoming modern mystery crime drama Prosecution Elite, starring Dil Raba and Tong Da Wei, is rumoured to have obtained a distribution licence, so we can expect to see the drama soon on CCTV and the WeTV app. Anyway, Dil Raba plays an investigator from the Public Prosecutor's Office who was sent to investigate the case of a missing college student who jumped into the lake. While investigating the case, she discovered a live streaming app that's linked to criminal activities. Dilraba has been in many costume modern romance dramas and I'm excited to see her play a more serious role compared to her previous roles. Many fans have also expressed their excitement for her new role. Under the Microscope is an upcoming historical mystery drama starring Zan Ruo Yun and Steffi Ki and on October the 21st the drama got its distribution license. Under the Microscope is adapted from Ma Bu Yong's novel of the same name, who also wrote The Longest Day in Chang'an and The Wind Blows from Longxi. The drama chronicles the lives of civilians to give a glimpse into the Ming Dynasty through the perspective of the little people. Zhang Ruo Yun plays Shuai Jiamo, a man obsessed with mathematics. He stumbles upon a problem in Jinhua County and constantly runs into obstacles while trying to solve it. Under the Microscope is slated for 12 episodes and it will stream on the iQiyi app when it premieres. If you'd like to support me by contributing a dollar or more, check out my Ko-Fi page by clicking on the link in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new drama news updates in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on your screen right now. That's all I have time for you today, stay safe, stay well and I'll see you on the next video.